Madam Speaker, Haida Gwaii is well known across Canada, not only for its spectacular beauty and the rich culture of the Haida people, but also for its remoteness. To get to Haida Gwaii from Prince Rupert in good weather is a seven hour ferry ride. It's hard to get any farther west in Canada. So Haida Gwaii are hardy and resilient. They call the islands home for all kinds of reasons, but cheap groceries is not one of them. In fact, most goods and services cost more on Haida Gwaii than on the mainland. The biggest cost is the ferry or plane trips to Prince Rupert, which many families must take several times per year, whether for medical or dental appointments or for other essential reasons. <laughs> Madam Speaker, the Northern Residence Deduction is a tax deduction meant to offset the high costs of living in Canada's remote communities. It also helps attract skilled workers and promotes economic development. However, the current eligibility criteria for the Northern Deduction is deeply flawed. Back in the 90s, the federal government decided to change the criteria according to arbitrary lines on a map. The problem is those lines don't include all of Canada's remote communities that struggle with high costs of living. When the eligibility criteria changed, Haida Gwaii was downgraded from the North. May I interrupt the member and just have a short summary of the purpose of the bill so that we can uh, eventually get to the speech when, uh, when the time comes for the debate, please. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The bill I'm introducing today would amend the Income Tax Act to explicitly make the residents of Haida Gwaii eligible for the full Northern Residence Tax Deduction. Island residents have been pushing for this for over a decade, and it's long overdue. Thank you, Madam Speaker.